स्टूडेंट वी लर्न अबाउट मेथड्स टू ऑप्टेन टू कोहरण सोर्सेस कोहरण सोर्सेस मीन्स द सोर्सेस विच इमिट लाइट वेव्स हैविंग द सेम फेज द टू वेव्स और वेव्स प्रोड्यूस दैट सोर्सेस हैविंग इन सेम फेज देर फोर दैट इज फेज कॉन्स्टेंट इज देर इट्स फेज कॉन्स्टेंट इज फेज डिफरेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट दे दैट सोर्सेस आर नोन एज कोहरण सोर्सेस हाउ टू प्रिपेयर दैट कोहरण सोर्सेस बाय फर्स्ट मेथड इज लाइट्स मेथड लाइट्स मेथड टेक अ स्मॉल प्लेन मिरर सर्फेस एंड वन सोर्स विच इमिट द लाइट and that emitted light is partially falls on a screen and some light it falls on the plane mirror surface and that rays are reflected back towards the screen and we get the alternate dark and bright fringes that method is known as lloyd's mirror here one is s1 is a real source but after reflection that rays we meet that rays meet at the point that virtual source is obtained then s1 and s2 two coherent sources are obtained having the they are the two waves are produced or superimposed to each other and they produce interference pattern that method is known as lloyd's mirror method to prepare the coherent sources method lloyd's method is used one is the real source and s2 is the virtual source set another one method to prepare the coherent sources or to obtain the coherent sources that second method is fresnel biprism experiment fresnel biprism experiment in that experiment in that fresnel biprism is formed two prisms are their bases are connected with each other and the refracting angle of the two prism is about 180 degree their refracting angle is 180 degree the bases the edges of the reflecting edge of the biprism and the slit are in front of each other the second method is by fresnel biprism another method to produce coherent sources fresnel biprism experiment how to biprism is formed when refracting angle of the pre two prisms up to 1 to up to 30 degree the refracting angle is in between 1 to 30 degree taking their two prisms their refracting angle is in between 1 to 30 degree two two prisms are connected with their bases and to form a biprism experiment biprism by prism means two prisms are connected with each other and their reflecting edge is in front of that slit therefore the two waves the waves are emitted by the source and that waves reflected back in the and to form the virtual sources s1 and s2 and the interference band is obtained on a screen that method is known as fresnel biprism experiment two and two prisms their reflect, reflecting angle is up to 1 to 30 degree and the angle of the that prism is about 179 degree therefore that prism is known as biprism then the two virtual sources are produced by by prism two virtual sources we get the two virtual sources of coherent sources that are the coherent sources coherent sources which emit the light waves their phase difference is constant means the two waves produced on the of the two sources they are they having the same phase they are in the same phase that methods to obtain the coherent sources 
first one method we see Lloyd's mirror method and second one is Fresnel by prism method.